Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Doke on Battle video. And today I thought I would finally do a video about the worldwide celebration. Um, most of you probably already know because you watch other content creators or you're up to know on Twitter or whatever, but um, the official Dokkan accounts have been leaking like little teasers and the teasers have kind of led up and like with the very first teaser, we kind of saw Time Machine, but people were debating over Cell Saga or Future Saga or both. Well, with the last teaser, um, <coughs> it... Like, people were identifying, like, the style of chair that they put in the time machine matched more the Dragon Ball Super one. And now we've got the V-Jump leaks here, right? And the V-Jump leaks are showing that there is a uh, free-to-play Trunks unit that we're going to be able to get. Um, and it's actually from, like, um, a special episode where, like, Trunks goes back to the future and, like, kills all the androids and Cell. Um, and so it's looking like it's going to be that, but then it's going to, like, lead into the Dragon Ball Super stuff. It's very small, but in the very bottom right corner... There's a banner that has Goku Black on it. Um, so that's kind of indicating that it is like the theme of the worldwide is like time travel is kind of like what the theme of it is. Um, but the banner in the bottom right definitely has Goku Black. So we're definitely leaning that this is more like Dragon Ball Super Focus. But I could see them definitely dipping in the Cell Saga. They definitely could do future Gohan stuff, right? So I think any of that is pretty much on the table. Since the theme is time travel, I think we could definitely do all that. Now, with trunks like smattered all over this. I think Trunks will definitely be a feature. Trunks will probably be at least one of the, whether he's a Dokkan Fest LR or a Carnival, I believe there will be a Trunks unit there for sure out of one of those, um, without a doubt, because he's so prevalent here. But I think with like Goku Black stuff, people are thinking Vegito, right? We're thinking Goku Black Zamasu units. Um, we're thinking maybe Sword of Hope Trunks, right? Like all those units that you want to think of probably will be a part of the celebration. So what I want to focus on in this video is now that we have very concretely like evidence knowing what the celebration is and basically confirmed, um, I want to talk about what are the potential easy days we could get. And I think one of the reasons people really wanted this Future Saga celebration is because it is one of the teams or like categories that has kind of been left alone for a really long time. It's got some really old units, like a lot of good premium units that can easy A. And what we've noticed from worldwide is the the trend the last couple of years have been a ton of easy A's, like a ton of them. I think, gosh, I want to say last year we had like 13 easy A's or something crazy, right? And this theme can definitely support doing a ton of really good easy so let's go ahead and look at that so i've got my dokkan game here we'll just hop into so i went and i made like kind of a i, I made a tag for every unit that i think could kind of fit in now some units are going to be less likely than others right um i'm going to tell you the ones that i think have the highest chance that i would almost like i would stake my life on that these are going to get easy for sure so first off it's going to be this future physical 17 and this AGL Future 18. Now, the reason why I'm so confident about these is their sticker data has actually been in Global for a while. I don't know why Global put their EZA stickers in the game so early, um, but their stickers are there. Um, so I think it's fairly obvious that they're going to EZA in this celebration. And they might actually EZA in like the uh, countdown celebration, like before it actually starts. So I think these are going to EZA like maybe within a week, right? Like very, very soon. So I think they're going to EZA for sure. And these are very anticipated easy A's for me because these guys are orb changers. So uh, being that they're orb changers, they can work very good as like floating units on any of these uh, like extreme uh, future saga or Android type teams. I think they're gonna be very good. Um, now, my next couple that I think are have like the highest ridiculous chance, like I would be disappointed if these don't easy A, will be Tech Dokkan Fest Transforming Trunks and AGL Transforming Zamasu. These two have to easy. I don't know how they get by this celebration without easying these units. Um, and they're going to be so good because these are transforming units that are instantly going to link really well with what, like they can release any new trunks they want to with any name. It's going to link good with the other trunks. They can release any Zamasu they want with any name. It's going to link good with this because these guys are going to transform after like one turn. And once they transform, they will link with anything, even if they have the same name. So having these like transforming units be really good would be amazing. So I hope their easy A's are stellar. I hope they're very good. Now, in terms of other easy A's, I think have a high chance. I think this LR Goku Black would be a much needed, much much wanted easy A that I think could be very, very helpful. And I think he's got a very good chance because we've kind of broken the steel on year five, right? The main year five LRs of easy A. So therefore I think anything from year five could easy A and this guy's from year five. Um, 
And then I think this is another very anticipated EZA uh, into Goku Black. And he's one that I definitely want them. Dude, if they could make him like a four turn transformation instead of six, that would be amazing. Like if they can get this guy to transform a little bit easier, um, obviously buff his stacks. He's going to be stacking defense. Like this is a unit that I want to be very, very good. So I, I hope they do this guy justice and give him a really nice EZA, right? Um, other than that, um, I think... Okay, there's two more that I think I would really like to see here. And now I'll kind of go through all of them. But there's this STR Trunks here. And then there is an Int Zamasu. And these guys have damage reduction. So these guys have potential to be really, really good, like, high-end, like, red zone type level characters, right? So very hopeful, especially for Zamasu. Because STR Zamasu's easy A was such a throwaway. Like he base it's basically like he didn't get an easy A. So to make this int Zamasu is like the best standalone Zamasu in the game would be amazing. Because we don't have a good standalone Zamasu. And yes, this AGL one technically is a standalone Zamasu, but he's up for one turn and then he's gonna like transform instantly. So yeah, having a good standalone Zamasu would be great. And I think this int Zamasu is primed to be that. Um and then just looking at other units, let's just kind of look at everything now, right? Um, this one I think is a long shot. This would be if they do decide to go into future Gohan stuff. Um, but this guy's still relatively new. So I think like less than 5% chance the EZA this guy. If they do, this would be like a crazy like part four, like EX part, like surprise EZA. I think it's very unlikely. But I want to throw it out there because you never know. Dokkan's done some crazy things. Um, this is a unit that's definitely due for it. But now this one's more like Cell Saga. So if they're really leaning into more like time travel, future saga, uh, to me, this one's more on the fence. I would say this one's maybe like a 40% chance to easy. I don't think, like, I wouldn't be surprised if they easy aid them. I'm just not sure how well they fit the celebration. These guys feel like they'd fit like a cell saga celebration a little bit better. But these androids are so tied to Trunks and his mission and everything he's doing. Like, I could see it. I might even be willing to go, like, 50% chance on these guys. Because they are very old. Like, they are definitely old enough to EZA. Um, and th the only reason why I'd maybe not be as confident on these guys is... You can see my list has, like, 27 potential EZA characters. So, uh, they're potentially only going to EZA, like, half of the characters. Maybe even less than half of what I'm suggesting here. And I feel like it might be hard to find room for this guy when there are characters that fit the, the theme a lot better, right? But I wanted to throw them out there. This guy, I just put him out here because he's a Trunks. But this, I believe he's a Prime Battle. This guy's either a Super Battle Road or a Prime Battle LR, but those EZAs typically aren't that good anyway, so I, I wouldn't really worry about him. If he comes, he comes, but I, I don't know about him. Um, this guy is one that would be like, this guy would have to be like a shocker EZA. And this guy is definitely more of like the Cell Saga Trunks. So I think very unlikely, one, because he's still relatively new and because he's more of the Cell Saga, not the Future Saga. So I'd say this guy's probably like a 5% or less, like pretty low chance of EZAing, right? Um, these guys do very much fit the celebration. And because I do think we are getting the physical and AGL Future Androids, <sighs> these guys are definitely up there for me, but these guys are actually still very good. And they're like, like still relatively newish, right? Like they're, I think they're less than two years old or maybe about two years old. So these guys would have to be a very much a surprise shock type of EZA. Um, these guys, I would say maybe like a 30% chance just because they do fit the theme really well. But man, they're, they're still kind of new and kind of good for that. So I doubt that they would EZA. Um, I think in future Gohan has a really decent shot. Now, it's going to depend on if they're going to go into the future Gohan arc or not. I don't know if they will. But because this guy is so old, I think his chances are very high. I feel like this guy's like maybe a 60 or 70% chance to EZA. He's definitely like one of the top, like for just a Dokkan Fest unit, he's definitely a top choice. I think Int Goku, well, the, the Tech Trunks in AGL Zamasu, those are like 99.9% .9 going to EZA. And those are like the premium Dokkan Fest. And I think Int Goku Black probably like an 80 or 90 percent chance to EZA and then I think this guy would be right after that maybe a 70 70 75 percent chance to EZA and these are just numbers I'm throwing out off the top of my head right um so we talked about we actually so these next three these guys are the ones that are these guys for sure are going to EZA I will be flabbergasted if they do not EZA um and I think this guy also has a very high chance um this guy I also said very high chance uh, this guy potentially, right? This is more, once again, more of a Cell Saga unit, but um, I think he's got a, a decent solid chance. Um, this guy's kind of an interesting one, right? 
Um, I think this is a movie heroes one though, so maybe not so much, right? This is from, this is from one of the movies, right? Am I am I not mistaken? Yeah, he's a movie heroes one. So I would say this guy's less likely just because he's movie heroes, but he is a really good hybrid Saiyan support. And so if say one of the LRs or carnival units is like a standalone trunks type unit that is a hybrid Saiyan, they could throw this guy out there to buff him. So um, I think this guy actually has an okay shot, even though he's more of like a movie trunks. Uh, we'll have to see on that one. Uh, this guy's another Cell Saga one, so maybe a decent shot. Who knows? It is a Trunks. I actually think this guy has a high chance. This Trunks and Mai. And this one, I believe, is also a year five unit. So I think their chances are very good. The Mafuba, like, if they build this guy, like, um, STR Kyle King Goku, where, like, his Spirit Bomb is, like, insane damage. If they give the Mafuba that treatment and it's doing, like, 15 to 20 mil damage, like, that could be kind of crazy, actually. So I think they got a very good chance. Uh, these guys, very low chance. I don't even know why I put them on here. One, they're like Cell Saga, and two, they're like very new still, so probably not. Uh, but they're there. These guys, I think, have a very high chance. They are also a defense support unit, so I think these guys could be a really, really nice addition. And the thing with this unit, um, I think they could work really good on a super class team or an extreme team. They're technically a super class unit, but their support, I believe, is generic, right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, all allies, two key, and 70% defense. Um, so if they easy A, I think the ideal easy A would be to give them attack and defense. So like, dude, what if they slapped on 70% attack? They probably won't. That would be insane. I actually think it's more likely they just up them to like 90% defense or that they just don't touch it. I could see that too. Uh, but that unit could be crazy. Um, but even though they're super class... Um, I think they might share some links with like Zamasu units. I don't know. They don't have like Dismal Future. Yeah, their link set's actually kind of wonky. Uh, but Cold Judgment, I do believe some of those units will get it. But things like Gentlemen, Brainiacs, I don't know. Um, we'll see. They might link okay with like a My unit or something. Um, but I, I think it's the type of unit that you don't really care if they link well. They're going to sit in slot three, right? Um, Cell Juniors only because like they're so old. But once again, that's definitely like full Cell Saga. So... It really depends. I still feel like the celebration could definitely touch on Cell Saga stuff. So it's going to depend on if Cell Saga is actually a part of it or not. Um, I think if Cell Saga is a part of it, definitely could be there. But I am really leaning towards it. They're really going to focus on Goku Black Zamasu stuff. So I think the odds of this guy are actually pretty low. Uh, but they're there. I think this guy could have a shot. This is a very ridiculously old banner unit. So if they're going to do future Gohan stuff, I think he's definitely up for it. Um, Int Mai, I think this one is a very high chance. A support unit would love to see Int Mai get a very good EZA. Would love to see her just be like dodging like crazy, right? Because right now her passive is just like a support and stun, right? Now I gave her a full dodge build, but this is a unit that I would like to see just get like 70% dodge in their kit. I think that they, they definitely could do that. We talked about the future androids here. I think they're for sure getting it because they're already in the data. Um, this guy I threw out there, he's intriguing to me. Um, obviously, he's not Future Saga, but he's a Xeno Trunks. And once again, the theme of this is time travel. And Xeno, these guys are all about time travel. Like, that's what they do. Now, once again, this is kind of a weird unit. The thing, the reason why I put this unit in here is I don't know when you EZA him, right? Like, what celebration does Trunks Zeno come up, right? They could maybe do it during Dragon Ball Heroes, but he's not technically a Heroes unit, right? He's a he's a, he's one of these weird like crossover units that came out before crossover was a thing, and he's just kind of there, right? And because it is Trunks, he has to do a time travel. He's ridiculously old. Um, I'm definitely gonna throw him out there as an option. Now I don't think his EZA is gonna be good because he's an AOE unit, and Dokkan hates AOE units. Like they value AOE so much that they typically make the rest of their kits underwhelming. So. I would expect this guy when he easy ace to be just like a decent budget option for like world tournament. So we'll see. But I I, I wanted to throw him out there because once again, like when do you easy a this guy? So this is the closest type of celebration I could think of for him. So that's why I threw him out there. Uh, this guy I would love to easy a, but I think he's going to be more like Cell Saga themed. So probably not. <clears throat> then I have two free to plays. And I think these would be, I think this guy, if for a free-to-play Awakening and Easy A, this guy is to me like a 99% chance going to happen. I'm actually really excited for this guy 
this is, I think, the first free-to-play unit that I ever rainbowed. This actually might be my first ever unit that I rainbowed in this game. Um, because it was like when hidden potential came out, I had enough orbs. You know, back then I wasn't like summoning as much on the game. So it was like this was a unit I could farm up, get all the dupes, and actually just experience having a rainbow unit. And I remembered he actually served me very well early in the game because he was very good in the um <clears throat> Oh, what you might call it? Uh, he was very good in prime battle for getting like the LR Goku and Frieza early on because in those events you had to use full free to play teams and there weren't a lot of good options. And this guy was actually pretty good in there, so I liked having this guy rainbowed. Like early on, I did regret it because potential orbs were so limited, but like I definitely got some use out of this guy. And this guy's just such a nostalgic unit for me that I would love to see him get an awakening in Easy A here, and I think it's going to happen. Um, and then once again, if they do future Gohan, this is a free to play future Gohan that they could awaken in easy A. So anyways, guys, let me know what easy A's you are looking forward to. But once I said, I think the slam dunk here, it's going to be these two for sure. They, it's got to be hundred percent has to be. So let me know if you're excited for worldwide. I'm very excited for it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.